Hi, boys and girls. Well, we're going to read a story about Groundhog Day. And Groundhog Day is celebrated on February the 2nd. And Proxitani Phil is probably the most famous groundhog that there is in history. And he's mentioned in here. So let's find out about this shadowy character on Groundhog Day. Oh, I see a compound word. Do you see a compound word? You're right. Ground, hog, groundhog. Neat. And this is written and illustrated by Gail Gibbons. She did the words that makes her the author and she drew the pictures that makes her the illustrator. Wow, double duty. Groundhog Day by Gail Gibbons. Groundhog Day is celebrated on February 2nd. Some people believe that on this day of the year, watching groundhogs can help predict when spring will come. Hmm, I wonder if that's true or not. Watching an animal can help predict the weather? Is that scientific? When will spring begin? The date of February 2nd is about the middle of winter. Old stories say that if a groundhog sees its shadow on this date, there will be mm, about six more weeks of winter. Those stories also say that if a groundhog doesn't see its shadow, spring will come early. So in our first picture, we can see the shadow of the groundhog. And then in the second picture, we do not see the shadow. And I notice on this day, the sun is behind the groundhog, so the shadow is in front. And I notice on this day, it's gray and cloudy and there is no sun. Hmm, so does that mean the sun makes the shadow? Groundhog Day grew out of old customs and beliefs. Some ancient people celebrated a spring festival in early February. Many people cleaned their houses and the area where they lived, getting ready for the new beginning of the new spring season. Then, about 1,500 years ago, wow, that's older than me, People in Europe began lighting candles in early spring for a new religious celebration. This practice coincided with the older observances that celebrated the end of winter and the beginning of spring. Wow, so they used to light candles to celebrate the coming of the new spring. Hmm. People had always thought they could predict when spring would come by watching animals. They believed that if a hibernating animal woke up from its sleep in the beginning of February and saw its shadow, there would be several more weeks of winter. If the animal didn't see its shadow, spring would come soon. They watched animals such as hedgehogs, bears, and badgers. Hedgehog, bear, Badger, and over here they're watching a bear. Hmm, so watching animals was supposed to help predict the weather and know if spring was coming or not. It was a good idea. They didn't used to have the scientific tools we have now. So animals, that could be a scientific tool. When Europeans were coming to North America, some settled in Pennsylvania. They brought with them the tradition of predicting spring by watching animals. Many groundhogs lived in this region. Groundhogs are animals that hibernate. It seemed logical to choose groundhogs to predict when spring would arrive. Hmm, I guess if he's a hibernator and there's plenty of groundhogs in the area, that would make sense to use them as a tool. And here is 
a map of the state of Pennsylvania, and here's the town of Poxitani. That's a really long name. I would have to chunk it and break it down into syllables in order to be able to figure out what that word said. Early in February, people watched groundhogs to find out whether they did or didn't see their shadows. This custom became a yearly celebration in many places, including the town of Poxitani, Pennsylvania. Oh, here they broke it into syllables for me to help me figure out how to say the word. Then, in 1886, Climber Frace wrote in the town newspaper that February the 2nd would be called Groundhog Day. What a great idea. Share the news in the newspaper so people would know the same information. Hmm, Groundhog Day. In Poxitani, the special groundhog is always called Poxitani Phil. There have been many Poxitani Phil's. Every year on February 2nd, thousands of people show up at Gobbler's Knob just outside of Poxitani to find out if Phil will see his shadow. We love Phil! Phil! Spring? High up on the stage, Phil is kept in a burrow under a fake tree stump. Town officials are also up on the stage. At exactly 7.25 a.m., that's in the morning, Phil is taken out of his burrow and everybody cheers. Woohoo! It's Phil! Phil the groundhog! Yay, Phil! Oh, they've put down a white piece of paper to help see if he sees his shadow. If Phil sees his shadow, winter will be longer. If he doesn't see his shadow, spring will come sooner. The officials make it look as if Phil whispers into their ear whether or not he has seen his shadow. It's all pretend. Sometimes Phil is right. Other times he's wrong. Lots of people think Groundhog Day is very fun. Looks like a fun time. Looks like it would be a great party. A groundhog is actually a fair furry rodent. It is a mammal that can weigh between 5 and 10 pounds. It usually grows to about 20 inches long and has a short tail and short legs. Many people think a groundhog is cute when it waddles all around. Like other rodents, such as mice and squirrels and beavers, groundhogs have large front teeth that grow continuously. That means all the time. To help wear them down, groundhogs gnaw on or bite and eat twigs and branches. Their diet also includes leaves, flowers and berries. Hmm, if they're eating leaves, flowers, and berries, that makes them, you're right, a herbivore. Where do groundhogs live? Groundhogs are found in parts of the United States and Canada. They live alone in burrows that they dig out with their sharp, curved front claws. Some burrows can be as deep as six feet and spread out more than 30 feet wide. Since they are prey to many animals, groundhogs stay close to home, usually near one of the entrances to their burrows. When outside their burrows, they may sit up straight with their front paws held tightly against their chests, eating and watching for signs of danger. Wow, so they have a sleeping chamber, kind of like a bedroom. They have a food storage chamber, kind of like a kitchen. They have a nesting chamber, kind of like a nursery where they would have their babies. They have a hibernating chamber, I guess that's a bigger bedroom. And they have a toilet chamber, the bathroom. Cool, so it's almost like a house.
When danger is near, groundhogs make sharp, high-pitched whistles to warn other groundhogs. Some of their natural enemies are wolves, foxes, and birds such as hawks. Oh, so those animals are all carnivores. And this one here, of course, we know as a predatory bird. During the summer, groundhogs eat as much as they can to increase their body fat. In the fall, they go into their burrows to hibernate through the cold winter months. Throughout the winter, their fat provides nourishment to keep them alive. To save energy, their body temperature drops and their breathing and heart rate slow down. So when you're hibernating, you don't want to use a lot of energy. So you do a lot of sleeping, you slow down your heart rate, and you slow down your breathing, almost like meditating. In some parts of the United States and Canada, groundhogs poke their tiny noses out of their burrows during February, about the middle of winter. Male groundhogs look for female groundhogs around this time, and they mate. About 30 days later, the females give birth to their litters of tiny blind kits. In the northern areas, all this happens much later. For the first month, the mother groundhog takes very good care of the young. When the kits are about one month old, they open their eyes and they begin to crawl about. So she has them born underground to help keep them safe from predators. When the young groundhogs are about two months old, they're able to leave their mothers to dig their own burrows. A new generation of groundhogs is ready to care for itself. People enjoy Groundhog Day. Sometimes children draw pictures of groundhogs, have snacks and play games, such as shadow tag. And when you come back to school, we'll be able to teach you how to play shadow tag and we'll play it outside at recess. So what a fun time Groundhog Day seems to be. Well, to help us celebrate Groundhog Day, you're going to make a groundhog puppet so you can see if your Poxitani Phil sees its shadow or not. And that will help you predict if there's going to be mm, six more weeks of winter or if spring is going to come. All right, scientists, scroll on down and see how to make your very own groundhog puppet.